guys, Whipchip here with a brand new video, and today we will be discussing something that completely blew me away in the brand new LEGO Ninjago Season 15 Episode 11 and 12, but mostly Episode 12. Now, of course, there will be discussing spoilers in this video, so if you haven't watched those episodes yet, please go and do so, they're really good. But with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Now, in these episodes, we get to see a lot of really cool things happening, such as great fighting, fantastic scoring, beautiful animation, and of course, great storytelling. But at the end of the day, the thing that I walked away with most was the thing that happened at the end of the episode. What is this thing, you may ask? Well, it is the return of Shintaru from LEGO Ninjago Season 13 Master of the Mountain. For about a year now, me and my brother, Connor, yes, I have a, two brothers and a sister, all younger. Now, Connor and I, we make references to this line that Vanya says at the end of the episode all the time. Well, in that case, if you ever need my help, all you will have to do is ask and I will bring the entire army of Shintaro to your aid. And I'll bring the entire four of us. Up, please, up, please, up, please. Thanks, guys. You're the best. Joking that the ninja will never take her up on that offer. So you can imagine just how shocked I was when they actually did. I was literally going ballistic thinking about it. How cool it was that they put her back in the show. Having Shintaru back is so nice to me. Because it really feels like the writers care again. And that they don't just introduce places in Ninjago. And then just forget about them later. I feel like this is also a smart move on LEGO's part. Because having Shintaru back in the TV show makes all the sets feel relevant again. Now, of course, you can see that, like, the, you can see, like, all the different, like, Wu's Dragon, that's a good example. Now, hopefully this makes, they, hopefully this lets them clean out the rest of their stock of the Master of the Mountain stuff. I mean, I was just ridiculously hyped, like I just said, seeing Chompy fly by a window, because I had just gotten Chompy for Easter, and I had just built him the other day. So I feel like that could really work on kids. I mean, it kind of worked on me, even though I already own the sets. I mean, it's also really cool to see returning characters such as Mertessa and Chancellor Gulch, both using their Shintaro wings, I might add. That was really cool. It is interesting to me that the that the uh, Upley stayed in Shintaro. I forgot their name, sorry. When it was heavily hinted in the episode that they would sort of be leaving and exploring Ninjago, leaving Shintaro, but it seems like they're staying. But, I mean, I'm not complaining. It is really cool to see them there. I just feel like it would have been cooler if they weren't stuck at Shintaro. Sort of just because they were stuck in the mountain of Shintaro for a really long time. Now, of course, there is one thing that I will complain about, or I guess two, and that is that we still don't have a Vanya, Princess Vanya, and Hail Mar minifigures. Where are our minifigures for those two? Ugh. Now, even though the amulet is fake, I still really appreciate the writers taking the time to take us back to Shintaro for this moment that feels very right for the fans. Fingers crossed that it gets to play a big part in the battle against Wohira. Now, I haven't read the episode descriptions yet, so no spoilers, but fingers crossed that we actually get a battle between Shintaru, the Merlopians, and, of course, the Keepers of the Amulet, as well as Wohira. So, but that will do it for this video. Please leave comments. I absolutely love responding to your guys' comments, of course, as always. But that will do it. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and have a wonderful day. Bye!